Sorry, you have a guest coming to see you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing here, Leah? I don't know. I just saw him outside. Big fam. Hey, Gila. Hi. I don't know if you remember me. Oliver. How, how are you? How does he know the address? They gave me the codes last time I was here. Ah. What's going on? Um. I was wondering if you know Ethan actually owes me a little money. I've been doing some sh basically just showing up, doing a couple bit of little, uh, I don't know how to say this, cameos. And mm. he's offered me a little bit of cash. But really? I'll take uh, how much does he owe traveler's you? checks or if you guys have any, mm. any kind of check really would do. You have uh, yeah, time? Yeah, probably. Maybe? How so much? You had your, uh, it's just like north of 200000 <laughs> You guys had some money from that lawsuit, right? <laughs> this looks nice. I can mm -hmm. take, well, I'll take two of these, three of these. <laughs> what else? Oh, is this stuff all for free? This is on release. I love that. That would be good. That would look good on me. <laughs> yeah, it would actually. You should wear that one more often. Is this the new Pope jacket? Yes, you want no, to try it on? No, I would love to. Yeah. Can you try it on? Yeah, I would love to. I've actually been designing something similar. Do you like my outfit? I designed this myself. I do love it. Thank you. I love that it goes all the way to the shoes. Yeah, well, I can't give too much away, but yeah, it's a full piece. <laughs> this is awesome. It's way cooler than anything Ethan's doing over there. I can't believe you guys are still running that podcast. No that podcast needs to be shut down. <laughs> what? This is where the real wait, magic is. Wait, wait retract it. that statement. No, this Teddy Fresh is where it's at. It's so I always said that. I believed in you from the beginning. Oh yeah, there it is. What do you think, too much? I actually love it. What? <laughs> they didn't want me there. Wait, what happened? At least someone's getting this. It was a disaster. Nah, he, we could, he's out of control. I'm not out of control, I'm a good dude. I'm just grabbing some clothes. What Wait, else don't you got? I don't know, I'm just gonna pick a couple things. Hey, we need to These people are working. Stop, yeah, people don't are touch me, I'm don't, taking don't, stuff. There no, was stop. a logic to the, the order here. I know there is. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm gone. I'm gone. There. Wait. Where's Jeremiah? Shit. Oh my god, he's running out yeah. of the gate. Did he get away? I, I, yeah. Where'd he go? Hey Taylor, that's all of our tree. And he's stealing the clothes. What? You said I could have the clothes for the such, modeling I did on the billboard two years ago. Nope. <laughs> no, no, it's team effort. Jesus! <laughs> stop! Get off me. Stop. Seriously, stop. Get off me. Seriously. Get off me right now. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Get off me. Get off me. Stop. Heal it. Stop. This guy thinks he can mess with me. Oh, stop. Fuck. Seriously, stop. You're hurting me! I didn't do shit! Bro. Stop. Just sit down. Just sit down. No, just leave. Why I'm not fucking doing anything! Call the police. Why get me out of here! I'm done, dude! I'm in. fucking done! Kayla, get him off! Don't come out. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, I'm gonna you the this! Shut the fuck up! Stop! Oh. Get him off me! Get him off me! Please stop! Ah. I think we were supposed to use this jacket in fitting today on a fit model. Well. well. <laughs> hey guys, so it's Thursday and they just started leftovers and Hassan brought today Kaya to the office. So we're gonna introduce Shredder and Alfredo right now. And I'm just gonna put them on a leash first. I think that's kind of like good practice when you first introduce dogs to each other. So I hope it goes well. <laughs> the thing is that they're way nicer when they're off the leash. They get crazier on the leash, so. There's another dog here, okay? Oh, 
Oh she my smelled, god. Oh, you smell terrible going inside of her ears. I gotta get a cold. Guys, she jumps at their face. She's pooping. <laughs> She's pooping. Get a shot. Us and the pups. We brought the dogs to Teddy Fresh because they were barking too much with Kaya. Shredder. So the other night, um, Taylor and I went to Frankie Jonah's show at the Troubadour. I can't say Troubadour and not think about Zach. Turns out that he's a big fan of the podcast and our videos and everything. And the management that I just joined, they also represent him, so they kind of connected us. And I decided to go to the show. Taylor and Tati were there. And he slayed it. It was really good. He's a natural, really entertaining. Apparently, he's. this was only his fifth show, which I couldn't believe. It was so good. excited to see where he's gonna go with this music and I grabbed a little bit of footage and I got a photo pass I brought my yeah that's the other thing I wanted to say with with us vlogging I decided to go back to my roots and get a camcorder this is where this is how we started everything I was recording Ethan behind this thing there's a camcorder that yeah you with? Mm -hmm. so I decided to get a new one I decided to go for Panasonic Hopefully I'm gonna like it, we'll see. And so I got a photo pass for the concert, but this apparently doesn't count as photo, <laughs> it's video. So I got like a couple shots on my phone too. You look getting drunk. Excuse me. You look getting No, she's not. She's wasted. Oh my god. So The queen. No, stop it. Do you want to be in my vlog? Sure, I would love to be in your vlog. Are you kidding me? So we got to meet him afterwards. He was super, super nice. He's family. Is it going on the Ethan and Ela channel? Okay, I remember when you guys started doing the vlogs on the Ethan and Ela channel in New York. Yeah, like the, like way, way back. Was it in New York? Okay. It was. Was it in New York? Somebody asked me if we started it in New York or in New York, and I was like, I don't remember. It was in New York, and then you guys did the first like real time vlogging was the. I, I'm like an OG, dude. I am family. Like I am there. Family. It's crazy. It's amazing. It's so awesome. Okay, well, he was awesome, so whenever he's performing, go check it out. Sewer rat. That's me. Yeah, I guess I don't know what else to say. I think that was everything. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Here. Watch out. <laughs> I don't have an outfit for the live show yet, so we're thinking. Oh, how Lena? cute would she so be? Okay. We should, try that. we should do that. I'm saying. <laughs> it's great. So, what are we talking about today? Yes. Let me wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> So today I am shopping a little bit for Friday potential looks or anything fun really. Just kind of like a cool outfit for whenever something comes up. I came to Left Hand LA. Um, they're really cool. It's two girls who own it. They do a lot of one-off pieces where they take existing stuff and just kind of like add all these things to them or alter it. I've been a fan for a while, we've been following each other and chatting in the DMs and stuff. <laughs> and I finally made it here. I'm really excited. These are the jeans Eva wore in one of the last vlogs. We are working on them for her. 
already. They look so much better. That's bestie. Thank you so much for having us, y'all. Yes. Let me grab the keys to let you guys out. Yes. And be careful of that big, like, hump. Okay, this yeah, bar, yeah. the white bar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I robbed the place. <laughs> Wait, when did you guys get that fancy gimbal? Baby got it, and so I figured I'd use it. It's Let me see that. Yeah. Awesome, right? <laughs> you got to show that. Yeah, that's sick. Is yeah, this battery powered or is it just um, like? Uh, I charge it. <laughs> no more shaky footage. Oh! oh! <laughs> I beat it. I think I broke it. There's also a joystick too for moving it. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Yo, that thing, this is awesome. <laughs> Why does it move in? Oh, that's the bridge. <laughs> Today, I want to show you guys a little bit more of the behind the scenes at Teddy Fresh. Um, I have some styles here pulled out that are kind of showing the process of where it started and how it ended. And then I have some stuff that we ended up dropping so they never saw the day of light. Um, and that happens for all kinds of reasons. So let me show you. This cardigan that everybody knows and loves. It actually started from one of my sketches, but this is the end piece that we all know and love. Let me show you where it started. So this was the first sample. Um, I think when we saw this one, we just kind of felt like it's okay, but the knit is a little flat. And we kind of wanted to change the colors, find something with a little bit more like vintage feel to it um, I think this was another alternative quality that they sent us sometimes we'll pick like two yarn options um, and this was the second colorway at first <laughs> which is crazy and I think we tried a pastel colorway because we we're like that other one is way too crazy but ultimately we changed the yarn quality to this fuzzy one and um, when we change yarn quality we also kind of like change the colors because sometimes it will come with available colors for each quality that we have to pick from sometimes we're able to do custom colors um, but this actually had already all of these colors and I felt like they were so perfect I like how each color has like a little bit of like variance in colors within it and it felt like it added so much depth to here to to everything here we really loved it in this final form when i come into the office a lot of times that's what i go i go over samples that came in and see what do i like about it what do i not like about it and what can we do to get it to a better place this garment that we also all know and love is actually one that started so far from where it is it started here and the idea here was super cute, definitely very feminine um, cardigan compared to where it ended. I think what happened here is that we started with so much detail um, and everything was turning out way too expensive because you have the custom point tail here, it says TF here in the holes. You have the rib with the multicolors plus the, this like edge. You have crochet elements. And overall, this was coming in way too expensive. Um, we started with these two colorways too. And also, if I was to actually make this one happen, I wanted to make it more substantial. It's a little too light in my opinion. And so it was only gonna get more and more expensive. So we had to rethink this one. I was like, what, what do I love about it? Was the multicolor rib and the crochet element, mostly the crochet bear. 
was my favorite. And then we started to like mess with the design and look at it. If we strip away the, the pointel, if we strip away all the details, what does it look like? Then we ended up with this one. We had it at first in black, but we also did this green and we all immediately loved the green. So we decided to go ahead with green. Um, and we made the bear 3D instead of the flat. We also went with this quality of yarn, which is recycled. Yeah, which is so awesome. And we decided to, if it already is so like, so much simpler, it became more unisex. So we decided to just make it unisex instead of limiting who could buy it by making it a more feminine cut. So that's how we landed on this one. And I'm so happy with it. We recently decided to bring back the black because we actually never made it in black. Um, so that's gonna be coming out. Now we go into the world of stuff that were dropped. This denim jacket, it's got like TF rivets. They're custom made. And the idea sounded so cool to us, but when we saw the sample, we felt like it just, there wasn't enough impact. It wasn't doing much. And like, this was gonna be expensive. And I, I always have to weigh, like if something's gonna be expensive, is it gonna feel expensive to the customer from their point of view? Do you see this and you think like, oh yeah, I can see why, I can see where the money was spent? I don't think so in this case. Where like this one, I feel like you see, you see where all the detail went, you see why you're gonna have to pay what you have to pay. So a lot of times that is part of my consideration. Although it's gonna be expensive to us, I don't think the customer will feel the value, will see the value. Um, so this was dropped. This one, I still do love the idea of it, but I think the way it executed is just not great. I, I think there's too much going on. The sequins with the, there's like stars that are jacarded, then there's felted uh, applique, and then there's sequins, and it's like so much going on. And I think it just kind of looks messy right now. And this one was also kind of like expensive. And I felt like the body of it was a little confused. Like, it, is it? Is it more feminine or more men leaning? Like, I, I think about everything pr in a pretty unisex way, but still there's gonna be like, who's the majority that's gonna buy it? Like I know there's some guys that would love to wear it, but I think majority would be women who'd wanna wear it. But right now the silhouette is like a unisex silhouette and I just felt like it was too confused right now. It wasn't really answering anybody completely. This was our first attempt at a blazer. Um, this was gonna go in the same collection as the Howie Mandel shirt <laughs> with the send help here. But I think that in idea it was cool, but nobody liked it when we saw the sample. I think the fabric is just quite awful. We like the idea of like this like buttons here and the crochet bear there. Uh, yeah, but quite terrible. <laughs> Straight to the dropped. This I still love, but I think it needed so much work. We had this idea of like a more Western cowboy themed collection, but it never actually happened. So this became kind of like an outlier that didn't really fit anywhere. If we were to work on it further, I would make these look better. I don't like the material right now being used here. And I don't like how this all these studs are like laying over it i think there's a better way to do all of this it just kind of looks cheap right now where it could look a lot better also when it comes to denim the the minimums a lot of times are too high like we will have to make a lot of quantities of these and i felt like this is such a novelty niche item that i wasn't sure if a lot of people would buy it you know like what hundreds of people want to buy it I'm not sure. Would I wear it? Yes, I would wear it. But this is the reality of running a business. It's like I want to make stuff that will sell. This one, we had this idea of developing this custom mesh that it says Teddy Fresh on it. Um, but it turned out super complicated to develop this and the the MOQ minimum required um, of the fabric alone just to develop it was very very high and we were like 
I don't think we could do multiple styles. Like this would have worked if we could do like three different styles using the same fabric, but I just didn't see that happening at the time. And so that's why this never happened, but we developed it in like black and like a lime neon green too. And the idea of it I thought could be really cute, but yeah. And that's all that I have here today. Um, let me know if you guys like this. I could do this more. I could talk about everything for hours because that's literally what I do all day. <laughs>